What's up design family and welcome back to another episode of Fit Design TV. So glad to have you back on the channel. On today's episode, we'll be looking at one of the world's most famous and most luxurious animal fibers. We'll specifically be looking at cashmere. In this quick episode, we'll evaluate what cashmere actually is, we'll take a brief look at its history, observe its potential use case scenarios based closely on the characteristics that I'll outline for you quickly, and ultimately, by the end of this episode, you should be able to walk away with a much better understanding of what this supreme textile is, and ultimately evaluate whether or not it's something you want to invest your personal time and money into, whether it's incorporating it into your upcoming fashion collection, or you want to incorporate it into your own personal wardrobe. What's up design family, and welcome to Fit Design TV. So glad to have you here. On this channel, we discuss all things sports fashion, graphic design, manufacturing, and technology. We'll discuss key topics, answer pressing questions, and provide actionable steps on starting your own product line. If you're interested in any of the above topics, stick around. You're in for a good one. Cashmere, what is it? In short, cashmere is a softer, finer, and more luxurious wool fiber sourced from the goat, specifically the goats that we find in the cashmere region. Similar to how not all cotton is of the same grade, the same thing is true with wool. Not all wool, and specifically not all wool that we source from goats are of the same quality and the same fineness. So in this specific episode, we'll be looking at the quality that is known as cashmere. Cashmere as we know it is collected only from the undercoat of the cashmere goat, so specifically the cashmere goat. Typically, we see cashmere as being low in luster and the fiber is generally found in gray, brown, and white. And because of its extremely rare production, the fiber itself is considered extremely luxurious and is quite costly. At the end of the day, the lack of availability and the high demand drives up the price for cashmere. It's also sometimes mixed with extremely fine wool for a more cost-effective production solution. Now, let's actually take a brief look at the history of Kashmir. The name Kashmir actually comes from an old spelling of the region Kashmir. Kashmir is a region where the production and trade of the Kashmir fiber actually originated and was widely popularized. The origin of these fibers actually dates all the way back to the 13th century, the Mongolian Empire. And essentially, the Silk Road, which was operating right around this time, helped the development and the popularization of Kashmir. And typically, the shawls that were made out of this fabric reached the peak of their popularity around the 19th century. So cashmere is quite an old fabric or an old fiber and one that has been widely used for a while. When it comes to the actual physical characteristics and properties of the animal fiber itself, the diameter of a typical cashmere fiber is ranging between 7 and 19 microns. When it comes to the length of the staple, we typically see them around 25 to 90 millimeters. However, for the best quality cashmere in the market, you'll want to aim for something between 13 and 15 microns on the diameter side and between 35 and 37 millimeters on the staple length side. Now, let's actually take a look at the characteristics of cashmere. Why is cashmere something that you might want to invest your time and your money into? Well, the first sort of category has to do with the fabric, drape, and feel. Cashmere is just something that you know. Instantly, without even knowing something is cashmere, you can just touch and feel that it is cashmere. So it's extremely silky and very, very fine to the touch. Also, it's soft and drapes with an, increase, with an incredibly graceful flow. Using or making garments out of cashmere just simply make your silhouette look so much more enchanting and so much more poised and put together. Also, it does retain warmth and is extremely comfortable to wear, similar to other types of wool. Also, in this regard though, when compared to wool and mohair, cashmere is much more delicate and it's more prone to pilling and is not as abrasion resistant. So long term, making sure that you maintain cashmere with a little bit more carefulness and caution is going to be key towards keeping your investment intact. When it comes to its moisture performance, Cashmere does a great job, just like wool, at absorbing and actually retaining moisture. It is flame resistant, it has hypoallergenic performance, and it takes dyes really, really well. So you're going to get a garment that is truly vibrant, and the colors are going to be represented as they are. And lastly, 
all cashmere is extremely anti-static which is a major plus especially when comparing it to similar types of synthetic fibers well guys that is it that is a wrap on this episode in terms of everything you wanted to know about cashmere also if you want to see other episodes like this where i take you through fabric by fabric we've done a ton of different episodes where we've covered everything polyester wool and nylon exotic skins leather so definitely feel free to check out the channel we put out great content on a week-to-week -week basis also, if you guys want to hop on a one-on-one -on -one consultation call with me personally, whether you want to discuss anything to do with personal style or you want to get a bit more technical and discuss how to set up your own fashion business, how to look at creating custom designs, the budgeting you need, and how to create manufacturing logistics, definitely feel free to check out the first link in the description and we can hop on a one-on-one -on -one call. I'd love to hear what you have and basically see how I can help. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Fit Design TV. Until next week's episode, stay awesome.